Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and we're just coming out here to get some fiber for today's episode, which uh, it's kind of strange because as soon as we get this dino that we're talking about, we're not going to need to be able to get, um, we're not going to need to go out and grab fiber like this for a long time because these guys can actually harvest up fiber for us. Um, these guys can harvest up berries, they can harvest up, uh, um, Oh, honey from uh, all the honey, uh, all from the beehives and stuff like that, all around the island, all around Ragnarok, all around everywhere. So yeah, these guys right here, they are wicked amazing and they are really, really cool. But they are kind of a tricky to um, tame, especially when you're lower level. But when you're higher level, they're actually uh, not that hard to tame. So um, everything that I'm uh, saying right now. If you have access to a tranquilizer or to a long neck rifle and a tranquilizer darts, then this doesn't apply to you. It, it's super easy from there, but we will cover that method as well. But for this other method, we're going to be talking about the dire bear and how to tame it at a low level because these guys are awesome. If you can tame one of these guys before you hit level 50, these guys will be your buddy. These guys are like the uh, poor man's Therizinosaurus. They're the, uh, the tough man. Um, uh, uh, Fiomia. There we go. There we go. All right. They're, they're the rich man's Fiomia. There we go. <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever, but I'm going with it. All right. I'm owning that statement. All right. So yeah, dire bears. These guys are wicked cool. They get moving really fast. They can tank their way through just about anything. And if you can get one at a low enough level, these guys can be your buddy for a long time. So, but there's a couple things that you need to have before you go out and start taming one. One, you need, um, trank darts. You definitely need trank darts. Um, and then also, you need narcotics. Narcotics is going to um, be a thing that you have to have. All right, now, I said that, uh, you know, we're not going to be... Well, the first one, um, I, I intend on probably taming two. One without the long neck and the um, trank darts. One with the long neck and trank darts. Because there's a huge difference if you do not have a long neck and trank darts. And for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to use that crossbow right there we're gonna make ourselves up a regular primitive crossbow matter of fact let's go do that right now unless i already have one in here i might already have one in here nope all right cool uh let's get uh weapon ranged hey look at that i got fiber bam all right so i'm um, cool let's get that okay and we're gonna make a second one of these just in case because it might actually take us a little bit on this all right but if you're gonna use the uh um Oh, the original method, the primitive crossbow method, there is something you have to do um, along with it. And now I'm going to explain that here in just a sec. All right, let me take both of these. All right, and I'm just going to keep that in my inventory. But let's put that, bam, right down there. Actually, you know what? Let's put that where the bullets are. Sweet, nailed it. All right, so now um, while uh, we are in the process of making up more trank darts, because that's what we're going to do, because we're going to need a whole bunch... Yeah, let's get all 50 of those going. We're going to open up our engrams, and we're just going to type in trap. All right, so now from here, we're going to go down to level 29, narcotic trap. We're going to learn that sucker, all right? And then also, why I'm in here, we're going to tar we're gonna take a look at dire bear saddle. Because dire bear saddle, you get the, this at level 45. So it's actually pretty early on in the um, game. So if you can get one of these, like I said, if you can get one of these at level 45, so you're ready to ride it and then take it out and make it your, uh, uh, your buddy... Serious, you'll have your own little Winnie the Pooh that can do just about everything. It's awesome. All right, so uh, now that we've got that done, all right, let's, uh, we've got the uh, trank traps going, so let's, uh, all right, here we go. All right, we've got a whole bunch of these. Now, these things are actually really inexpensive. They take a bunch of different resources, but they're not that expensive. Only three cementing paste, one uh, crystal, uh, 35 fiber, six hide, 15 narcotics, and four wood. So we're just gonna craft up 22 of those because we've got that stuff in our inventory right now. I mean, it's super simple. I just went over, went shopping out of my smithy and my fabricator. I had all the stuff that I needed for it. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna get this stuff crafted. We're gonna go uh, take out my griffin. We're gonna go see if we can find one. I'm gonna craft up some stuff so we can whip up a quick taming pin. Now there's also another taming pin, say if you're on the island and, um, hey, let me go like this, all right. 
say if you're on the island and you uh, want to go out looking for dire bears. Now, dire bears on the island, yeah, they, they spawn in some weird spots, but the best spot to find um, dire bears on the island is the redwoods. So if you're going to uh, go looking for one in the redwoods, I suggest building a trap, um, a taming pen on, the, uh, um, on a raft. And I will show you at the end of the video, we'll pop on over to the island and I'll show you the raft um, taming pen that I use. And it has a ramp that goes down the front and you can just kind of swivel it around and then beach it right there on the edge of the redwoods. Anywhere you want, it's great for taming thylacolios, it's great for taming dire bears, it's great for taming just about anything that lives in the redwoods. So if it's in the redwoods, this trap is for that. Alright, so hey, uh, let's get this going. I got a little bit more stuff to craft, and then I will see you guys in a bit, because we're going out and we're going to find a dire bear. Alright, and we're back, and let me show you this uh, taming pen that I made. The taming pen, it's super easy. Now, you can build this on a raft. If you build it on a raft, I would suggest that instead of the fence foundations, because you can't really do much with those on a raft. Uh, you just go with uh, regular foundations, then you go around the outsides, and which means that you don't have to go with the pillars on the raft, but I'll show you how we do that here in just a little bit. But yeah, um, normally when you snap down the uh, um, fence foundations, right here, let me get out the handy dandy pointer as it reloads, and uh, yeah, as soon as you put down these uh, fence foundations, it'll create a snap spot right here for a um, pillar. All you do is snap a pillar here, snap another one right here, because it'll create its own little snap spot, and another one right there, put another one up there, put seal right along the top and then there you go and then uh, now you have a nice little uh, section for your ramps to come right down so where you can just run right through and then everything just gets everything just gets handled that's just the way it works all right but yeah now uh, that we've got that done we want to make sure that this area right in front of here is really cleared because there's a bear right inside of there that I, I want to go try to get but we want to make sure that he is not going to uh, get aggro on anything or nothing's gonna come try to uh, attack us or the pen or anything like that because we're going to be putting down narcotic traps and we don't want the narcotic traps to be wasted all right now um bears have notoriously high high torpor low health all right now that's the problem that's why we have to do it this way all right but that's what the traps are going to uh kind of they're they're gonna try to go around that problem all right so here now here's what we do all right now we take out these little traps we put them on our hot bar just like this and it creates this little bad boy just like this now we take this and we go bam now the next one that we put next to it if we put it close enough it's going to connect them like that see just connects it just like that now these can actually be triggered on you so you want to be careful when you're laying these down. They could also be triggered on your tri-mate, stuff like that, which, while it does make a, for a pretty fun time, you want to make sure that you don't waste them all that way. All right, so now we're going to just put them down like this. Now, you want to keep in mind that each set of these uh, two uh, um, narcotic traps like that, each set is 240 torpor, okay? So for each one of this... oh. Oh, oh, there we go. I'm gonna be <laughs> scared the crap out of myself. All right, so that happened. All right, so let's go like this. Are you gonna connect? There you go. Thank you for connecting and not scaring the crap out of me with that one. All right, so yeah, that was 240 torpor that I just narrowly avoided, just like that. So yeah, all right. So now we're gonna make sure that we put this out like this. So for four of them, it's going to be 960 torpor. Okay. So you want to make sure that we want to kind of stack up probably about, I'd say about 2,000 torpor on this guy. So we're going to go with a full set of eight of these. Okay, that way there, when he comes around, he's going to be knocked out pretty effectively. Okay, so that's seven. Can we put one in the water? Is that a thing we can do? Thank you. All right, and can we connect it to... Hey, nailed it. All right, sweet. So we've got that. After I've done scared the crap out of myself, now let's get over here and let's go see if we can go grab this uh, um, bear. Now, this is how we do it. All we do is go over to it. We we uh, dangle our little uh, meaty bits in front of him. You know, we show off, hey, look, I've got a butt. Come eat my butt. And then, of course, you know, him being a dire bear, he's going to do that. Hey, dude. Uh, peg out, seriously? Dude, you're harsh in my buzz, man. All right. Oh, Mr. Bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. Do I have to hop off? Can I... 
art. Will that do it? There we go. There we come on, buddy. All right, come on. Now, uh, for this right here, I'm just going to run right ahead of him. I don't want to outrun him too far. Oh, ow, he's getting going fast. And he is hard. Holy crap. All right, he is hard. Okay, so let's get over like this. Now we want to fly over this. We want to get him like this and just fly him over it. Just kind of casually. All right, come on, buddy. No, 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 no. What are you doing, man? There we go. All right, let's lure you back over this way. Let you hit me again. All right, come on. Now we want to fly upwards as he hits those. He trips them all and goes right in there. Sweet. Now we've already got 2,000 Torpor on him. So now we're just going to take our regular handy-dandy crossbow. Oh, I've already got it down there. We're going to put these Trank Arrows on him. And then now we're just going to go like this. Now you want to make sure that you do not knock him out with those uh, Trank, with those narcotic traps. Because if you knock him out with a narcotic trap, he becomes instantly untamable. If he's not directly knocked out by the player, if it's some other thing that knocks him out, be it uh, Trank Trap, anything like that, he's not going to be tameable. So we want to make sure that all the Torpor we put on him is not enough to knock him out with the Trank Traps. That way there we can finish him up by sticking arrows up his butt like this. And wow, that is right up the butt, man. I am so sorry about your luck, dude. But yeah. Um, and then also, um, you want to make sure that you bring a... Uh, um, Oh, a magnifying glass, which I I do have one on Vertigo, but yeah, I haven't grabbed it yet. All right, come on, dude. All right, we got to get you down, man. All right, now we want to go until he starts running, and you don't want to go for headshots. Headshots are kind of your worst enemy here. Now, and we want to pay very, very, very close attention. Give me the magnifying glass, dude. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Okay, fine. Fine, man. All right. I saw you still have plenty of health left, dude. All right, your torpor is still going up. And you still have plenty of health. All right, cool. Let's get you knocked out, man, the rest of the way. Come on. All right, now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch him. His torpor still going up. Now I'm just gonna keep watching him until it stops going up, and then I'm gonna pelt him a little bit more because when you I'm shooting with a uh, oh with the dart or with a um, trank arrow, it puts a dot on him, which is damage over time. But with this, it's like trank over time, and tot wouldn't really sound very good, so. And I wouldn't want to say tot, so it's dot, all right? So, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep watching him really carefully as he's doing this. All right, keep going, man. Keep going. He might. Yeah, he's going to smack me. And we want to make sure he doesn't smack anything else. Come here, dude. Torpor's still going. Yeah, your Torpor's still going up. Oh, now it's going down. Okay, so now we're going to... Wrong button! Now we're going to lay into him a little bit more with these. Just right up the pooper, man. Point blank pooper shot. Oh, dude, it's like, hey, get out of there, man. All right, now we're going to watch him a little bit more. All right, yeah, he's got 621 health. All right, it's slowly going up. Yeah, we can pelt him a little bit more. All right, and then when he's running, you can kind of just get in here inside the pen with him because every once in a while, he might f turn around and freak out. Yeah, it's going down again. All right. He might turn around and freak out a little bit, but it's not going to be that bad. Pooper shot, dude. Oh, yeah. That's what you get, man. All right, now I'm going to watch him a little bit more. Let's reload that real quick. And he's out. That's how you do it. Okay, and, and we wouldn't have been able to do that with... Uh, Oh, with just regular crossbows. He would have died if we would have just used that with regular crossbows. Because here, take a look at this. I mean, 7,000 Torpor right there. 6,940 and only 1,500 hit points. He would have definitely died by the time that we got him knocked out. 
So, yeah, or, I mean, you can do it this way, but they're, well, you can do it the other way where you kind of, like, feed them halfway through, but with the speed that their torpor goes down, and it goes down quite considerably, especially when they're awake, um, if you don't knock them out, their torpor just kind of plummets really fast. It's not like Gallimimus levels or anything like that, but it is pretty dang fast. So, if you, uh, um, take the time to go out and get something for him to eat, well, before he starts running, and you throw it in here and let him eat it, then he'll eat it and he'll heal up a little bit, but generally by that time, you're gonna end up causing more damage to him because his torpor will have gone down enough that it really is not gonna help you out that much at all. So just by doing it this way, it's the easiest and most efficient, most effective way of doing it. All right, just make sure you got your magnifying glass on you, you got all your stuff ready, and then now we're just going to uh, let this guy starve up a little bit, and then we're gonna go get some, uh, some prime meat, and then we're gonna feed this guy. Now, you can um, tame these guys with all sorts of different things. I mean, bears aren't just carnivorous. Uh, bears, you could actually uh, tame with berries if you wanted to. I would not recommend doing it, but it's totally doable. And then you can do it with honey. Matter of fact, there is honey around here. Let me go see if I can go grab some honey right quick. Because I know there's uh, um, beehives around here. So let's, let's go get that, and let's see if we can get some. All right, here's some beehives. Let's see if we can actually get these. All right, now these guys, they're they're gonna not like us. All right, they're, they're not gonna like us. As soon as we gather the honey, and they're going to knock us off our animal, and it's gonna be bad. So yeah, you just gotta make sure that you have a quick and easy escape route for when they uh, do their thing. Because when if the bees come out, and then they start ganking you, it, it, it's a bad day. I'll, yeah, see right there, if those guys hit you, while you're on the back of your dino, they're going to dismount you from your dino. So just make sure that you don't have that happen. All right, so we've got, uh, every time you harvest, with just like this, you get five honey. So let's go see if we can find another one. Oh. Is that a Microraptor? Oh, I hate Microraptors. All right. Uh, <laughs> enough about the Microraptors. I cannot get distracted by the Microraptors along the runway. All right, let's go see if we can go get... Uh, a little bit more honey, because I'm pretty sure five is not enough, but I know there's honey all around this area. And then if we can't, then we'll just finish them off with prime meat. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, there's two. Sweet. And this is also another basics I plan on covering here pretty soon, is beehives. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Thank you. No, no, no. Give me back up. Okay, now if you get a certain distance away from the hive, um, they're gonna despawn. But yeah, they do a lot of damage in that time, so yeah. Alright, so now that we've got 10 honey, let's go over and let's go see if that's enough for this guy. I mean, he's only level 100, but still, you know, 10 honey should do it. If not, then we'll run out and we'll go grab some prime meat. But, um, like every other tame I do normally, I want to, uh, make sure I add some regular, just regular meat to him. Just in case if we, if he runs out, um, then he still has something to eat. Alright, so let's just put all that on him. Bam. And he's gonna be eating that? Yeah, alright, he's gonna be taming up quite nicely for us. Sweet. Alright, so, uh, yeah, he already ate, uh, one of the honey. And then each honey apparently gives him, I don't know, it's like 75, um, food? Something like that. All right, so hey, yeah, um, I'm gonna get this guy tamed up. We've got plenty of honey, and then, all right, after we're done with this, um, we're gonna hop over, well, we're probably gonna, after we're done with this, I keep getting scatterbrained because there's just so much cool stuff about dire bears that I want to discuss. All right, after we get done taming this guy, we're gonna put a saddle on him, I'm gonna discuss what all these things can do, and then after that, we're gonna pop over to the island, and I'm gonna show you the uh, raft taming pin that I um, recommend for using on the uh, redwoods. That way there, you can just put it anywhere you want to, right along the redwoods, it's really cool. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, and he's up. All right, so now let's go like this. Open up our inventory, dire bear. All right, now this right here, we can just craft in our inventory. So let's go get some cementing paste. Uh, that's just over the beaver dams. There's actually a nice spot with beaver dams just right over the way. Uh, need some fiber and need some hide. No problems whatsoever. Do I already have um, enough hide on here? And the, I see there's a trike egg back there. It's tempting me. Tempting me so hard. All right. So yeah, there's beaver dams. If you're on Ragnarok, there's beaver dams just right over this side. 
over here. Just a whole bunch. I'm gonna run over there real quick. I'm gonna grab some uh, cementing paste. I'll bring you guys right back as soon as we're able to craft up this saddle, and then we're gonna get this guy out and about and see what all he can do, because it's actually quite impressive what this guy can do. Hi, beavers. Don't mind me. Keep your pay. Keep your distance. I'm just grabbing 100 spinning paste. That's all I need, all right? Please don't eat my face. Thank you. I'm done. I'm out of here. You guys have fun. No, stop pooping. All right, get out of here. All right, sweet. All right, we've got all the stuff for it. Let's craft that sucker up. All right, well, that's doing that. Let's pop over here. Let's go break our thing. All right. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Bam. All right, cool. Let's throw this garbage up on the ground. Put a saddle on you. All right, now we're out and about. And you'll notice that as you're running with these guys, the longer that you sprint, the faster you'll go. I mean, they do have a top end that once you hit it, you're not gonna be able to go any faster. But these guys, they're just gonna be able to go super, super fast. I mean, look at how fast this is. I mean, this is impressive, just how fast these guys go. It's really cool. All right, so yeah, as they're doing that, you can come out here and you can actually harvest these berry bushes while you're running, and you'll notice that unlike other things, other unlike trikes and uh, parasaurs and stegos and stuff like that, we actually gather fiber while we're gathering this stuff. It's very, very cool. All right, so now also another cool thing with these guys is when you're over here and then, say earlier when we were harvesting these uh, bees, yeah, they would come up and they would start ganking us and everything was just bad and it was horrible and... Can I get up here? And yeah, we'd have to worry about getting knocked off the mount. Can I please just get... Serious? Fine, suck a tree. Didn't want you there anyway. All right, here we are. There we are. All right, so now we can just kill these beehives. Well, you can actually gather the bee. But they're not... The bees aren't going to be able to hit us on the back of here. All right, there we go. Go up to the beehive and you right click on it and you get 15 uh, bee. You get 15 honey with every harvest. It is really cool. All right, but you can only harvest every once in a little bit, but yeah. Um, so you can just go around. Hello, Mr. Trudon. Suck it, Mr. Trudon. I'm out of here, dude. All right, but yeah, um, this is like the easiest way of gathering uh, bee honey on the island other than owning your own beehive. And then I'm um, having them uh, I'll give you honey every periodically. You have to go up to it, grab your ghillie armor, and then uh, go up to it, harvest it. And yeah, but yeah, this right here is the easiest way if you don't own beehives of getting honey. It's really, really super easy. Now in his inventory, he's going to eat um, his the raw meat or he's going to eat these berries. Uh, they're omnivores. So yeah, they'll eat preferably, uh, you know, whatever that you give them. So if we take this meat out of here, he's still got plenty of food and he's going to be able to eat all these berries. I mean, it's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, he's not gonna um, starve out anything like that, but you'll notice that uh, this guy right here, his health starts out kinda low. All right, so now we're gonna talk about a little bit of leveling up stats. All right, so if you want just like an everyday dino, one that can just go through um, the go through the maps, that can tank whatever you want, you can fight, you know, all sorts of really um, cool stuff, you can take out T-Rexes, I would recommend you wanna go with kinda like a tanky build, because these guys, they already hit hard. All right, here, let me see. Uh, where is something I can hit? Hey, Mr. Trike, can I hit you? Just once on the butt? Just like a little love tap? All right, see that? He's already hitting for 120. Yeah, he, he made mincemeat of that, Trike. <laughs> yeah, so he's already hitting for 120. So we really don't want too much um, more extra melee damage. I mean, yeah, we do want some, but we don't want a lot. But we want a ton of health. Now, this guy's health, it's going to go up pretty quick, all right? He, see that he got, what was it, 180 um, points per tick, um, per uh, um, click of the um, health bar? So, yeah, as you level these guys up, I would recommend, say, every five levels, wrong button, every five levels that you level these guys up, three of them has to go into health, at least three. All right, one of them into melee damage, and maybe one of them into either movement speed or stamina. Yeah, um, you don't really need to pump weight at all for these guys, unless if you want to use them as like a long distance hauler and you don't want Argents or something like that, because his weight is already intense. It's already 910. You really don't need to pump that at all. So yeah, I would say, um, oh, for every uh, five levels, three of them go into health, one of them into melee damage, and then um, the other one kind of floats between stamina and movement speed. 
That way there, you're kind of giving them a little bit extra, but you're not going too overboard on it. So yeah, and then with that right there, these guys can be just your buddy. They can level up with you. They can uh, do whatever you really want to, which is really, really awesome. Plus, you can also face tank T-Rexes with these guys. Yes, you can face tank T-Rexes while you're taming them. The T-Rex will just chew on you and you can shoot it. And it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it is as impressive as it sounds. It's wicked cool. All right, so yeah, let's hop over to the island, and then I will see you guys in a bit, because I'm going to show you my, uh, um, oh, the Redwoods uh, raft taming um, pen that I use for taming uh, thylacolios and dire bears over there. All right, so hey, I will see you guys in a bit. All right, now there she is. Isn't she a beaut? I love this taming pen. This taming pen is so handy. All right, now this one right here, you just put down foundations. Now you make sure that you leave this section right here cut out so where you can just kind of pop on and you can stir it, you can steer it around and then, all right, let's go see if we can find ourselves a dire bear. And then when you want, when you find a spot of something that you want to uh, tame, all you do is just kind of jam it right here onto the beach, just bam, just like that. All right, so then um, after you got things tamed, then you can just kind of hop on out and then uh, just move it out to uh, over in the middle of the ocean or the um, water so where nothing can gank you. Oh, hey, it's convenient. Here's one right here. All right, hey, buddy, come here. Come on, buddy. Right, come on. Hey, stop eating the tree. Come here. Come here, dude. Come on. Don't you see me? I'm sticking a bird up your butt, man. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, right up here. There you go. Right inside there. There we go. So now that he's out like this, we can we can just kind of knock him out. Now I'm gonna knock him out just with the darts, and you're gonna see that the difference between knocking him out with um, darts on a long, a uh, nice long neck, compared to uh, having to use the traps and everything like that, because it's night and day difference. Which I would recommend if you're higher level, you know, go ahead and do it this way. But if you're lower level. Have no fear. You can knock these guys out. Oh, my God. Toronto Don, you scared the crap out of me. All right. Yeah, you too, Super Dodo. All right, chill out, man. All right. All right, now he's already going to be running. Yeah, he's already running. Come on. Let's get your butt knocked out, dude. Come on. All right, can I get a butt shot on you like I did the other one? All right, now let's get up here. A little bit better vantage point. Boop! Right in the tail. And you're out. All right, sweet. So now that he's out, we can just pop on here on the raft, and we can move him out here in the middle of the ocean or in the middle of the river, not ocean. I keep saying ocean, but it's just the river. Yeah, you can move him right out here so where nothing can hit him. Yeah, it's really, really cool. All right, so hey, now uh, now all you do is just go tame them, same way we did the other one. You can use prime meat, you can use mutton, you can use uh, um, oh honey. I prefer to use honey. Honey is really good. Oh uh, yeah. All right, so hey, I hope this video helps you out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope uh, it was informative. Uh, so yeah. All right, if you liked the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Take it easy, everybody.